Hello there. Fog, some of it dense in places, has been an issue for Germany and the Balkans um, over the last 24 hours. But it's mild for all across Europe and we're going to see some wetter weather with this curl of cloud from this area of low pressure moving through. So that's going to bring strong to gale force gusts of winds across the UK, gradually moving its way into Scandinavia. It's also going to be affecting parts of Portugal and Spain as well. A little more cloud here with a few showers. Turkey, a few isolated showers, not looking too bad across Greece, as you can see. Under that area of high pressure, we could still have an issue with fog on Saturday through the Balkans and parts of Germany. But the winds are set to strengthen, and so that means that that should diminish as we go through the weekend. We'll start to see the wind strengthening across parts of the Low Countries and into Scandinavia. Some rain arrives for the second half of the weekend. So you can see that story on Sunday, that wetter weather moving its way through France and the Low Countries across the Pyrenees into northern Spain and Portugal. Eastern Mediterranean, fine and quiet. Let's take a look at the city forecast, see what to expect over the next five days. Well, we are going to see a slight improvement Monday, Tuesday into London and Paris and a better picture into Rome, really, through the middle part of the week. Eastern Europe stays largely fine and quiet with some sunshine returning but cool in Moscow. Hello there. Typhoon Vancor made landfall across the Philippines and brought flooding rains with it. Now it continues to move its way steadily westwards over the South China Sea, weakening somewhat before it makes landfall once again across that east coast of Vietnam. But it looks likely to make landfall a little bit further north of Da Nang. Now, elsewhere, there's a large area of high pressure dominating the story and it's keeping things quiet and those temperatures slightly above the average for the time of year through Vietnam, the Korean Peninsula. Good deal of sunshine extends across China. There's that heavy rainfall. Still will continue to exacerbate the flooding situations that we've got across the east coast of Vietnam and we'll keep you posted on that storm's progress. The city forecasts show a good deal of dry weather, though, with just some rain into Beijing uh, through next week, perhaps from Wednesday into Thursday. As for Australia, it's all about uh, uh, wind coming from the interior, and that's going to drive in some warmth across central Australia further east over the next few days. So 21 degrees in Melbourne at the moment. Second half of the weekend looks noticeably warmer. We've got some wetter weather into the South Island of New Zealand, some sunny spells further north. So if we take a look at the city forecast, the temperatures in Melbourne will peak into the low 30s potentially on Sunday, but then easing down just a touch next week. Hello there. We're keeping an eye on what's happening through the Bay of Bengal at the moment. There's a potential for a circulation of cloud to form into some kind of storm system. And you can just start to see the formation on this satellite picture. Ahead of it, we've got some sharper showers to the south affecting Sri Lanka, southern parts of Tamil Nadu, the island of the Maldives as well. To the north, it's uh, largely fine and dry with decent spells of sunshine, temperatures perhaps peaking into the mid-30s. There's going to be some heavy rain, though, across the north of Pakistan, affecting uh, the mountainous areas close to Pakistan and, and Afghanistan. There'll be some significant snow. In fact, much of Central Asia is pretty unsettled. It's much colder into Kazakhstan. We could see more significant snow and rain over the stands over the next few days. So... Decent weather, though, across much of uh, southern parts of Pakistan, northern India. A few scattered showers on Sunday, the sharper showers across Sri Lanka. As I say, there's that disturbance through the Bay of Bengal, which we'll keep an eye on for you. And elsewhere, with the sunshine, those temperatures still perhaps peaking into the low to mid 30s. So city forecasts show a good deal of dry weather. Yes, we'll see the risk of those showers easing in Islamabad. Showers continue into Colombo, some of them heavy and thundery over the next few days. The sunshine is going to be replaced by cloudier, cooler conditions in Tashkent. Hello there. Storm Eater may well have eased away, but we're looking at another storm system. And this time it's across the Pacific Northwest and it's going to be the first in a succession of storms over the next five days, which will bring some heavy snow, damaging gusts of winds and some significant rain close to the coast as well. Now, to the east of that, there's a good deal of fine weather across northern and central plains and certainly an improving picture across the eastern seaboard after Thursday's heavy rain. But let's take a look at that west coast in a little more detail. There is the potential 
potential for one to two meters of precipitation over the next few days. So that's enough potentially to bring some localized flooding. Now that extends across British Columbia, down into Washington state, parts of Oregon, maybe even Northern California as well. So as I say, we could see 20, 30 inches of snowfall across the tops of the mountains. So it's an unsettled spell of weather. Los Angeles, however, blue sky, sunshine, still those temperatures into the 20s. Eastern seaboard certainly better as yesterday's rain eases away. Friday will be a fine settled story for many. Good deal of sunshine extends down into Tennessee, Georgia and the Carolinas where we had significant flooding as Eta passed through and the same too for Florida. So it's an improving story here. We keep that sunshine, we keep some of that warmth and that's going to be the story as we head into the weekend as well. Hello there. The record-breaking Atlantic hurricane season continues to be active with the potential for the 30th named storm. More on that in just a moment. Starting off in South America, though, looking at the satellite picture. Well, I want to point out this lump of cloud here that's moving its way through northern Argentina, spreading towards Bolivia and Paraguay over the next 24 hours, and it will bring some sharp showers with it. Elsewhere, yes, we've got some sharper showers just to the north of Rio, affecting southern Brazil into western areas of Brazil, and some particularly heavy across the parts of Venezuela and Colombia. Northern Brazil not looking too bad, largely fine and quiet. Now, ahead of those show up showers in Argentina is a bit of warmth, but as those showers drift their way northwards, the temperatures are expected to ease down. A little bit of showery rain to the southern tip of Chile, some snow to higher ground. So, as you can see, Rio de Janeiro will escape those showers, stay dry with some sunshine. Let's move to Mexico and Central America. Quiet at the moment, as I say, but out just to the south, as you can see quite clearly, of Jamaica. We've got this disturbance here. This could be what will be known as Storm Iota, and it could move its way uh, towards parts of uh, Honduras and Guatemala, which were really badly affected with Ita just a few days ago. So we'll need to keep an eye on that one. It stays pretty unsettled over the next few days to come. Hello there. Forecast for the Middle East coming up shortly. But first of all, let's take a look at Africa, starting with a satellite picture. It's picking up the shower cloud just to the south of the equator, as it tends to happen at this time of year. There are still some heavier ones close to the Gulf of Guinea, some sharper ones as well further south. Now into South Africa, we're going to see heat building over the next few days, slightly above the average for the time of year. To the north of those showers, we've got slightly cooler weather for the time of year, particularly across the Sahara, which is quite unusual. And there's still the threat from uh, theta of some stormy weather conditions and some rough seas close to the Canaries. So this is the city forecast for the next five days. Not that much in the way of change. As you can see, the heat building into Cape Town into the mid-20s as we go next week. And we continue to see the risk of a few sharp and thundery downpours, perhaps into Kinshasa. Now let's move over to the Middle East where a good deal of quiet weather, largely fine, lots of sunshine coming through. There is a risk over the next couple of days of uh, a localised shamal developing. So that has the potential to bring some lifted dust and poor visibility. Risk of a few isolated showers as well, close towards United Arab Emirates. But the heaviest of the rain is drifting its way eastwards out of Iran. City forecast shows little in the way of change, a good deal of fine, dry weather, with a risk of an isolated shower into Kuwait on Monday.